You know, some folks have always complained that consumer technology is somehow dehumanizing. And let's face it, it is largely virtual and representational, using pixels, synthesized voices, avatars, all to create this sort of XY universe. Maybe that's why 3D gesture technology sparks everyone's imagination. It sort of re-injects the primal human into the space. We track all ten fingers. It's very precise and very low latency. And what that gets you is touch-free controlling of the computer. Makers of Leap Motion envision people maybe using this for robotic surgery. Twisting the phone in your wrist twice quickly causes the camera app to launch from any application or when the device is asleep. And then I can grab different pieces. You can do all of this with a keyboard and mouse, but you know you wouldn't be able to do it nearly as fluidly and as easily as you can with this controller. Some numbers that move us beyond niche. In 2017, ABI predicts 30% of smartphones, about 600 million of them, will ship with gesture tech that year. Some 40% of new cars will have some kind of gesture tech by 2023, according to IHS. And the 3D gesture tech market expected to grow from $2 billion to $15 billion in the next five years. 3D gesture technology will probably do best in its initial years when it's simple and appropriate, almost aha simple. I also think it's going to be a good example of a technology that augments many others and replaces very few. Some of the hurdles I'm looking for to see 3D gesture cross as it moves to ubiquity include higher precision. Uh, a lot of the things on 3D gesture technology right now are coarse and laggy compared to even a $7 mouse. That's not going to work for long. As you get greater precision, you actually get greater ease more than greater power. This is about 100 milliseconds of latency. This demo from Microsoft's Applied Sciences Group is using 2D gesture, a touchscreen, but it still makes it very clear what happens when the technology improves past a certain point on the continuum. All of a sudden, it's utterly different, not just better. Then there's user discrimination. Really good 3D tech tomorrow has to be able to tell me from someone around me. Focus on my gestures, filter out theirs. Then there's personalization. A recent University of St. Andrews study found that users were able to master 44% more gestures when they devised them themselves as opposed to just learning ones the manufacturer set up on the technology. Prove it to yourself. Next time you go to dinner with friends, notice how differently everyone gestures, even if they're talking about the same topic. A killer app, and I mean application, not software app. The first big one was honestly the clapper. Next, probably Nintendo Wii. Now it's time for the third that really leverages our smart mobiles. And finally, there's simple, because to me, complex gesture technology is kind of the mother of all oxymorons. Now notice, I left out fitness and body monitoring technology. Some put that in the gesture category, but I see it as a different variant. That's more passive data probing, as opposed to 3D gesture is simple control technology. For its intuitive simplicity and the way it injects human behavior into digital living, 3D gesture is a technology like no other.